Welcome to this video and in this video I wanted to look at the differences between a planet and a dwarf planet or when does a dwarf planet actually become a planet. So here I've kind of got Pluto and Earth. So at some point a dwarf planet is going to become a planet and what is the criteria for being a planet and for being a dwarf planet. So we know we've got various planets in our solar system. So here is all of our planets. So we have Mercury, we have Earth, we have Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn. These are our planets. Now, we did used to assume that Pluto was a planet. It's been reclassified as a dwarf planet. And this video will hopefully explain why that is the case. And then we have dwarf planets today. We've got Pluto on the left and another dwarf planet as well. Now these can look like planets, so they kind of look spherical and things like that. They're not necessarily too small, but they are dwarf planets and they're in our solar system. So what makes them a dwarf planet and what makes the other ones planets? So there are basically three criteria or three main criteria um, defined by the International Astronomical Union as to what makes an actual planet. So the first one is a fairly obvious one. It has to be in an orbit around the sun. So we're talking about planets in our solar system here. Or we, if we're talking about another planet, then it will be a planet that's orbiting a star. So in our solar system, it has to orbit the sun. So here you go, you've got the Earth, and it's on an orbit around the sun. There we have a planet. And an asteroid or minor planet might be the same, though. So a minor planet, dwarf planet, asteroid, they still orbit the sun. So actually, they still fit that criteria for being a planet. So we need to actually look at the rest of them. So the second one is that it has sufficient mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium. What that means is it would be a nearly, per well not a perfectly spherical shape but it would be nearly round and they're not going to be perfectly spherical because they're rotating and they typically get flattened at the poles and a bit wider at the equator depending because of their spin um, but they get to the point where they have enough mass and the gravitational force of the object essentially molds it into this rounder more spherical shape so this is another one so on the right hand side you've got like a minor planet or an asteroid and on the left hand side you have a planet so we need a spherical shape however some dwarf planets are also nearly round in shape so Pluto and some of the minor dwarf planets in the asteroid belt are spherical in shape or very close to being spherical so again these dwarf planets could actually hit two of those criteria to be a planet so there must be a third one that they've actually got to do in order to be classified as a planet. Now, the third one is that it has to clear out its neighbourhood around its orbit. So if we were to basically put a, extend the asteroid belt out to cover the whole of the solar system, so you had lots of smaller objects, if you placed a planet in there, the gravitational attraction and force from that planet would basically create this lane in its orbit. So it would clear out its local neighbourhood in its orbit and you'd be left with this kind of, essentially this gap all the way around where the planet orbit orbited. And this is mostly where dwarf planets are going to sh fall short. So for example, we've got dwarf planets in the asteroid belt and in the Kuiper belt, but they don't clear out a gap all the way around. They don't clear out the neighbourhood of other objects because they don't have enough mass. Yes, they can orbit the sun. Yes, they can have a spherical shape, but they're just not quite big enough to cl locally clear out their neighbourhood of other objects. This is, again, where most dwarf planets are going to fall short. So they have to hit all th three criteria to then be a planet. And it's one of the reasons why Pluto is not a planet and why some of the minor or dwarf planets in the asteroid belt are not planets as well. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, you can check out some of the other videos.